Dunder Mifflin, this is Ryan. Oh, hi, David. Long time no talk. Through the temp agency, actually. Yeah. I get that. I, I know that. David, David, you don't have to yell. David, can, can I just... Let, let me just tell... Okay. Right. Okay. I, you think you are, put Michael Bush okay. Out on the phone. I, I don't give a put Michael okay. Bush out on the phone. Right. Please hold. He just made the list. <laughs> um, also, little tip, um, never shake the baby. Sorry, just to be clear, you're saying do not shake the baby. Don't shake the baby. Um, a lot of times parents get frustrated because the baby's crying and they shake the baby and you gotta, um, you can't do that. Don't shake our baby. Yeah. Okay. I'd never heard that before. So oh thank God. you. Yeah, I'm glad you said something. <laughs> Me too. Where'd you decide to take Karen tonight? Anna Maria's. What's the occasion? Six month anniversary. What? Nothing. I think uh, we all kind of thought you guys were just like hooking up. No, we've been dating for six months. Uh, she might mention an email that I wrote a while back. Um, oh, right. I remember that one. She read it to me. She said she's not really ready to date somebody in the office, but she really likes you as a friend. I figured. It's cool. I, don't, I wouldn't want to be in an office relationship anyway. Do you want to go out to dinner tonight? Oh, is it? Or something nice? No. What? Um. I just. I'm sorry. I just wanted to have dinner. I'm uh, I'm, I'm dating Jim. You're kidding. We're together. That's great. I. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, great. You know what? I think you're attractive, and I want to sleep with you. What about Kelly? You read my mind. Is this a joke? Yup. You should move down here. With me. Yeah? We could be roommates. Really? We could get a dog. We could go to R-rated movies. <laughs> and who knows? I mean, you're a guy, I'm a girl. Yeah. Maybe in six months. Six months? Oh, okay, I'm in love with Kelly. How's my favorite branch doing? All right. Hey! I would like a pair of size nine, please. It's Michael. Swamps, Michael. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to Sally in lane 27. A lot of people would say that I'm a better match for Kelly than Ravi is. Oh, come on, Ryan. Really? Ravi's way better. Yeah. For Kelly? Yeah. Man, you're insane right now. Ravi's the whole package. I've never met Ravi personally, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, just having knowing you a short while, Brian, that I prefer Ravi. And again, I've never even met the guy. Jim, I want to apologize for how I treated you last year. I lost sight of myself, and now that I've quit the rat race, I realize there's so much more to life than being the youngest VP in the company's history. I've even started um, volunteering, giving back to the community. Oh, that's great. You're talking about your court-ordered community service? I don't need a judge to tell me to keep my community clean. But he did, right? All right. All right. It's weird. I'd rather she be alone than with somebody. Is that love? That's about it, yeah. I never went to Thailand. Really? I went to Fort Lauderdale. 
Was it nice? Yeah, it was amazing. There's a great Pad Thai place, though. You could be hot, too, if you made any effort at all. Like how? Dyeing my hair blonde? This is from the sun. Oh, yeah, I bet. Elephant in the room. Let's talk about it. Do I regret what I did? Of course I do. Even though it was an amazing ride, and I'll give you an example. Anyone see Survivor season six? Anyone know Joanna on that show? In New York City, I hooked up with a girl who looked exactly like that. Indistinguishable. So. Okay. I guess the thing is, at some point, notes or no notes, someone's gonna have to just get in there and clean it up. I guess that's why we have a temp, huh? Beard. It's the temp. Look. Oh my gosh. The temp. Uh, is that the police? Hmm? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, this is what happened. Uh, Ryan's big project was the website, which wasn't doing so well. So Ryan, to give the impression of sales, recorded them twice. Once as office sales and once as website sales, which is what we refer to in the business as misleading the shareholders. Uh, another good term is fraud. Now you look at me like you're adoring me, and I'm going to look at the camera like I don't even know you're there. I do adore you. Hottest in the office goes to Danny Cordray! Danny could not be here tonight. How do I feel about not winning Hottest in the office this year? Um, I'm very relieved. How do you, how do you judge someone? What is his criteria even? It's, it's so subjective. I'd like to make a toast to the troops. Here, here. Yes. All the troops, both sides. That's weird. Little advice, take a day off from the whole gym shtick. Try caring about something. You might like how it feels, James. Well, we were just looking for Ryan, so he's not here. Hey, you looking for me? Oh, yeah, we were. We were just going to say hi, so hey. No, you weren't. No, we weren't. You wanted to have sex in my office. Nope. Definitely no, not. We That's well, disgusting. It's, it's, it's cool. Just um, try to put everything back where you found it. Uh, text me when you're finished. I'll, I'll be out here. Hey, you don't have to. Hey, guys, just a quick announcement. If I could have everyone's attention. I just figured you needed a place where you could concentrate and not be bothered by bothering people. Okay. Let me show you what I mean. Your new office. How great is that, right? For a job well done. Well, not done. I will, uh, I will do my work right mm -hmm. now. I will stay late tonight. Right. Um, I'm very sorry about everything. <laughs> you're a good kid. You know when it gets bigger once you're in there. Enjoy it. Phyllis. Did the police solve the problem with the- Yes, yes they did. Yes they did. Yes. The social networking feature of the Dunder Mifflin Infinity website was infiltrated by sexual predators. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No! Okay, fine. Ryan. Yeah. Something the matter? Smokey's dead. Smokey the bear? Smokey Robinson, Pam. He died like an hour ago. I guess I'm the first to know. Wow, that's terrible. I really liked him. Oh, you liked him? That's nice. Did you like when he changed the course of American music like two or three times? Did you like that Tracks of My Tears is maybe the last true love song ever written? I'm glad you like him, Jim. I am completely devastated right now. Well, I second that emotion. Huh? I know a few of his songs, but what were his big ones? Oh, God. Nellie, what wasn't his? I mean, um, Tracks of My Tears? Yeah. Um, God, so many, Nellie. No, no, no. Tracks of My Tears and... What else? What are some more? What's one more? Okay, I'm not, I'm not playing this game, Pam. Not today. I don't think you love Smokey Robinson. I think you're just doing all of this to prove how deep you are about music. Okay, I'm sorry that I'm not a fan of Jason Mraz or The Beatles. You don't like The Beatles? That's, that's not the point. Eleanor Rigby, paperback writer? Okay, you know, you always think you have time to see these legends before they go. What was I so busy doing? It says here the Smokey Robinson dead thing is a hoax. It's on CNN as of two minutes ago. Okay, well, that's a relief. Wow, look at that. It says he's actually playing State College. It's only three hours away. Oh my God, Ryan, that's perfect. You have to go. Tickets are 250 bucks. $250 is nothing to the world's biggest Smokey Robinson fan. Yeah. Who's opening? 
Paul Anka. Paul Anka? How can they make the smoke man play with someone like that? I don't think I can see this. Okay, you could just show up late, though. How much is parking? Like 30 bucks? That's not what Smokey would have wanted, does want. Tears of a clown. Don't call me a clown, Pam. You're better than that. 